Happy wedding day. Best wishes. Love you guys. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Um, wish you guys all the happiness in the world. I hope you guys have a great uh, honeymoon afterwards. And I'll see you guys in the night. Here's to a good wedding and a lifelong of happy. Jonathan, she showed me in the bathroom here. I don't know what to say. It's last minute. Sierra, I love you guys. Best of wishes. Wish you guys the best of luck. Love you both, even though you're moving away. Johnny, congratulations, but I'm super excited for you. I can't wait to uh, see where the rest of your life goes, buddy. Congratulations. Hi, guys. Just remember, love each other and have a good time and enjoy your life. Love you. This message is basically for Jonathan. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. Sierra is right, and you are not. If you think otherwise, this will not last. So the quicker you can realize that she is in charge and you would just do what she says, everything will be okay. You guys are great. You look fantastic together and I hope you best of wishes for the rest of your life. Love you guys. Okay, Sierra and Jonathan, this is just a wonderful day. We're just so happy for both of you. We love both of you. And my best advice to you is each make the best of each day and don't ever go to bed at night mad at one another. If you have differences, which you always will, sometimes just please make sure when you go to bed, you say I love you and, and mean it, I know you will. We love both of you and just so happy, just so happy to have a new grandson too. We love both of you very much and Sierra, you know how special you've always been to us. And love you, always will. Hi guys, I'm so happy to be here the day of your wedding. I'm very excited. Um, very happy, a little sentimental because Sierra, you're my little girl and you always will be. Since I don't have kids, you are my first and my favorite. Don't tell anybody that. Anyway, I wish the most happiness and joy for you guys. Remember, being married is a partnership, it's a friendship, it's your best friend, it's the person who makes you feel the best in the world and the most safe and secure. It's the person who makes you laugh. You get pissed at them sometimes. It doesn't matter because that's growing together and there's nothing more than more, nothing better than having your soulmate uh, spend the rest of your life with you. I love you guys. Have fun in Puerto Rico! <laughs> hey guys, I love you both and I wish you all years and years and years of happiness and love and babies and all the love making. Love you. Right, babe. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> You know how you nice? Yes, I did. I love you and I'm so happy for you. I never saw that this was coming when we were friends in high school, but I'm so glad that it did. And I'm just so proud of the person that you've become. Best of luck to you and Jonathan in the future. And I love you. Sierra and Jonathan, happy wedding day. I love you. I'm so glad that I've got to see this story from start to right now. And I wish you all the best and I love you both. Happy wedding, Jonathan and Sierra. Sierra, I'm so excited to have you as a sister now and I wish nothing but the best throughout y'all's marriage and I love you both. Jonathan, Sierra, I'm so happy today is your wedding day. Two things to remember. Your wife is always right. Amen. And the other one is always keep God in your marriage and y'all will have a very long and happy marriage. I love both of you, and Sierra, I'm so glad to gain another daughter. Just let me tell y'all both congratulations. I love you very much. Um, just a little bit of advice. Always keep back the center of your marriage and everything you do. And second, don't have to do my child wrong. I have a place to bury you and an alibi. But I love you both. I'm very excited to marry you. Can't wait. And you better cry. I'm really excited about it, but it's okay. And... Yeah, I wasn't prepared. I didn't think I was going to say. So I'm very excited to marry you, and I feel like I'm going to throw up a little bit. So I'll see you here soon. What do you think Sierra's dress looks like? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be white. Well, <laughs> probably going to have a little bit of sparkle and uh, look elegant. That's all you got. I don't know how to describe a dress. <laughs> elegant, I figured you did the whole uh, description of it. Okay, what are your wishes to Sierra and your marriage? That uh, we have a long, happy life together and that we're rocking on the rocking chairs at night. Thank all the rocking chairs. All right. And have some kiddos and a bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs. All right.
Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this beautiful weather. Uh, you brought us together in this wonderful setting to join these two in holy matrimony. Father, we pray that this would only be the beginning. This would only be the time that these folks would gather together throughout their marriage to support them. Father, we're going to give you all that happens here today. We ask you to bless it. It's in your precious and most holy name I pray and give thanks. Amen. If someone would have told me three years ago that you would be the one I was going to marry, I probably would have just laughed in their face. But now I stand here in front of you three years later in awe of everything that we have become. You have helped put all my broken pieces back together and showed me a love I have never known. You have been patient and kind in all of the things that love is supposed to be. I can't help but admire how good you are to me, to your family, and to those you have never even met. I see how you treat strangers during their toughest of times and it makes me realize how lucky I am to get to spend forever with the person who is so willing to be a comfort for others even when your whole world is falling apart. You're stronger than anyone I know and have oftentimes been strong for me when I couldn't be for myself. You have brought out a side of me that I didn't even know existed and pushed me to achieve things I never thought I would and for that I'm forever grateful. Today, I promise to always give you my 100%. I promise to keep you on the straight and narrow, even when you get a little curvy, but never let you dull your adventurous side. I promise to never make you question my loyalty to you, and when the time comes, I promise to be the most loving mama to our little kiddos. No matter where we end up or what we end up doing, I promise to take on every new challenge and adventure with a positive outlook, because I know that together we can make it through anything. It's you, girl. Come here. Oh my god, you look gorgeous. <laughs> opportunity and choice you make as you have done for me so many times before. I promise to love you on the bad days just as much as I do on the days when it feels like we're on top of the world. I promise to always keep you laughing with my stupid jokes and never go to bed without a kiss goodnight. Most importantly, I promise to give you all the love that I possibly can until we take our last breath on this earth. God could not have picked a more perfect person for me to spend this life with. I love you so much and I can't wait to spend forever by your side. Who would have thought that three years ago that we when all this started that we'd be standing here today? And I can guarantee that none of our friends would have guessed that we'd be getting married, but somehow we have found each other and I've been grateful for every day since. The best part of my day is when I wake up next to you and when I'm coming home after work and I see you in the front yard with the dogs doing your training and just seeing the joy that they bring on your face. I never thought I would find someone as sweet, compassionate, and loving as you and I'm absolutely in love with everything about you. Now, Sierra, I promise that I will always love you and protect you and our dogs and I will always do whatever I need to to, pro to provide for us and our family. I love you forever. It is now my great privilege to present to you as a minister of the gospel, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan St. Arnold. I just have to say that I am proud of the man and the woman that both of you have turned into. 
I know that the next phase of your life is going to be the best. And my advice for you both is to embrace the good times, the bad times, and the flat out ugly times and weather every storm together. And always, always love each other. This guy here, he's got the biggest heart in the world. I've lived with him for three years. Um, if you want to know somebody that's treated me nothing less than a brother, it's this guy right here. And he means the absolute world to me. He's had my back more times than I can count. And, and you do, Jonathan. You mean the world to me. Sierra, I, I haven't known you long, but you're an amazing person. I love you. And I think you've got nothing but the best right here. Both of you look awesome together. I think you're going to have a wonderful life. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you.